How's it going my lovely people? Welcome back to the channel for another video. You probably clicked on this one because you're trying to enable MFA, also known as multi-factor authentication, as well as known as two-factor authentication on your Fortnite account. What's the point of doing this, you might ask? Well, it's for security reasons, so you can protect your account from people who might try to hack into it or that may have gotten your credentials somehow and all they have to do if you don't have this enabled is to put in the password and they're into your account. So with multi-factor authentication, there will be a second step process that you have to go through to log into your account. It really isn't that much extra work and it will protect your account much more than not having it. You'll be able to sleep better at night. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can enable MFA on your Fortnite Epic account. So that way you can gift skins and you'll also get a free emote. If you happen to only be a mobile player, you won't need your computer or a console to do this. Just use your phone, use a tablet like I'm doing, and you'll be able to follow along just fine. So I got my tablet being recorded right now, and I'm heading over to the Epic Games website right there. I'll also leave a link in the description below so you can just go to it right away. And you're going to want to log into your account. So on that top header bar, I'm going to select sign in at the top, and then we're just going to sign into my Epic Games account. Now I'm gonna go back up to that header bar and I'm gonna select my username and I'm gonna select account. And once that loads up, I'm gonna go over to password and security on the left hand side there. I'm gonna select that tab. And if you scroll down a little bit here, you'll see the two factor authentication options. There are three currently. Before there were only two, but now we have some additional options that we can go with. So the first one being we can use the Authenticator app. The Authenticator app is just another application you can download to your phone and you'll be able to register your Epic Games account with the Authenticator app so that you'll have a series of numbers code that you'll have to type in for your second step of logging in to your Fortnite account or Epic Games account. The second method you can do is SMS authentication, which means you'll receive a text message with whatever phone number that you configure with this option that will have a security code. You'll type that in as your second step option. And then there's email authentication, which I feel would be the slowest out of the three, but I mean, if, as long as your email service is pretty fast, you'll get the email with the code and you'll type that in for your second step of logging in. For the video example, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this with the Authenticator app. And all you're gonna have to do is select the Enable Authenticator app button. And this is all pretty easy. Make sure you install the Authenticator app, which I've done so already. Then you have a QR code that you can use to register the application with your Epic Games account. The QR code would have been useful, let's say if I was on the computer and I had my phone with the Authenticator app, I could just scan that and it would be registered with my Epic Games account. But I don't have to just use a QR code. I can use the manual entry key that's right at the bottom there. So we can just go ahead and copy that key. Of course, I'm gonna keep the QR code and the key blurred out. Move over to the Authenticator app and I'm gonna select add an account. And this is a different account. Uh, we can say okay. And you see I have the option, I can enter the code manually. So I'm gonna do that. And the account name is Epic Games. And then the secret key, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in. Select finish, and boom, there we go. And now all I gotta do, there's my one-time password code. Uh, I just copied the code. And now I'm back in my Epic Games settings account where I was just configuring what authentication method I want to use. And I'm just gonna go and paste in that security code so that way it is going to be paired with my Authenticator app. I'm gonna select Activate and there we go. Authenticator app enabled and we're good. So now that I've enabled MFA on my Authenticator app, the other two verification methods can't be used. So now I'm gonna launch up Fortnite and we're gonna see if I got my free emote. Okay, the game has loaded up. We're gonna close this out. There it is. Claim, thank you very much. See, and now I got my default dance, and I also got the boogie down emote in my locker. So now I have at least a couple emotes I can choose from when I'm playing Fortnite. 
So there you guys have it. I hope that helped you out. This was a request from one of you guys that came through to my live stream and asked, how do I set up multi-factor authentication with my Fortnite account? And it's literally that easy. It's not something that you can do just through the game itself. You need to go onto the Epic website itself, log into your Epic Games account, then go to your settings and then the passwords, and then it's all right there. You can select one of those three options. And trust me, guys, it's something that you want on your account. You don't want some random bad actor getting a hold of your credentials and then your account not having any sort of second barrier of defense from keeping them out of your account. I also recommend getting multi-factor for your Google account because that's connected to so many different applications that you might use besides just YouTube and your email. So you also wanna keep that protected. It's just not worth the risk, guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to use my code MIDNIGHTMAN55 in the Fortnite item shop if you get anything, it helps me out a ton. And of course, don't forget to hit this video with a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Peace out, guys.